What's up my fellow virtual aviators, this is Capitan Clint, and in this video we're going to show you how to turn off damages so you never experience the black screen of death again, and we're going to show you how to use slew mode, which allows you to pick up your airplane, like so, and move it anywhere in the world that you would like. If you end up liking this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe. And if there's something in particular you would like to have a video made about, leave it in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video for you. The simulator is just so much fun to fly around, see the beautiful sights, be technical. But let's be honest, there's a point for everyone where Microsoft Flight Simulator turns into Microsoft Crash Simulator. So first things first, if you're trying to just fly around and have a lot of fun, when you have critical damage on, it can be really frustrating. Say you're trying to do some barrel rolls and go in and out of these uh, buildings. You accidentally nick one, let's say. Uh, I guess I'm too good, I can't nick one. And here we go the black screen of death. Well, it's gonna make you restart. And nobody likes to restart, because that means that we have to go through this whole long loading screen again. So it's very important that if you're gonna be screwing around, having some fun, turn off this critical damage. I'll show you how that's done once we get loaded in, maybe a half hour or hour from now. <laughs> all right, so we are loaded back in. And to turn off this critical damage, all you got to do is hit the escape button, come over here to assistance. And in assistance, we have failure and damage. If you click it down, you can uh, change it to enable the enable or disable the crash damage, aircraft stress damage, engine stress damage, icing effect. All of these things you can change. Uh, but one thing that's just really easy say okay i'm gonna go fly in between some buildings and do some crazy stuff just hit the silver button make sure it's on easy and then all of those things will be turned off once it's on easy say you want to go back just hit it come all the way back to hard and you're set or medium whatever you like to have all right so now you have damages turned off and you're going to do some crazy stuff say oh i want to land on this building over here you can attempt that and nothing happens. You are perfectly fine. Now this can be a bit of a predicament. Now we are unable to move. This is the next big issue with the crash mechanics, um, but there is an easy hack, not really a hack, it's programmed in there for you uh, to get yourself out of this. Okay, so to get yourself unstuck from any crash position that you've landed in, such as up here on this roof, we're gonna go ahead and hit the Y button, which is toggle slew mode. And slew mode allows you to pick up your aircraft and take it wherever you would like. So we can turn around, move left, right, forward, back, up, down, and say, okay, we wanna come way over this way next to these boats i'll go ahead and hit y and here we are and so it will be a pretty dramatic experience and sometimes things won't load in very well uh, like these buildings over here you can see it's really 
not very high quality, that's because your computer's trying to catch up. You know, some of these things may be, you know, not high, high quality, close in, no matter where you go, but say, I hit Y, and we're gonna go a long distance away. We're gonna go over this way. Eventually, you'll see these things become more and more blotchy. So, yeah, way over here, it doesn't look great, but we went a very far distance. And as you continue to fly around in this area, uh, things will start to load in more and more. So it's not perfect. You can't, you know, go from New York to California and expect it to immediately look great. If you have a high performing computer, maybe it will, but I know mine doesn't. But you can also use slew mode. Say you don't want to do a particular uh, leg of a flight, just get up here and move yourself wherever you want and it moves very very fast faster than any plane that's on here so yeah this is a uh, slew mode now we'll go ahead and get into the particulars of how to get into it and how to program the buttons so the controls to slew mode I really don't like how Microsoft set it up as the default I do suggest going in and changing those uh, much like any of the other things in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I feel like the buttons they chose just don't make a lot of sense. So come over here to controls, and having a controller like a Xbox or a PlayStation controller works really well. A lot of the motions are the same as the drone motions, so I suggest keeping it consistent with uh, between the two slew modes. So if you're going to be looking left, you should have the slew mode look left the same as the drone mode look left. That way it's just consistent across the board and you're not forgetting what buttons do what. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna do it in keyboard. Make sure you select whatever you want uh, to have those preset buttons on and come over to all. Once you have all, come to the search and search slew. And it will come up with everything slew related. Toggle slew is why I suggest keeping it there. Um, once you are in slew mode, all these buttons uh, only affect this. So if you have, say, something set for eight on the numpad, you can still set something for eight on the numpad here because when you're in slew mode, it only affects the slew motion and not whatever is the uh, effects out in the flight simulator, if that makes any sense. I hope, I hope that makes sense. So I'll go ahead and go through each one of these uh, and show you what they do. The translate, the roll, and uh, the pitch, and things of that sort, they're all a little bit different. Um, so let's go ahead and go out. But pick buttons that make sense for you. I'll say what ones I have for myself. Uh, we'll get into the toggle mode or the slew mode by pressing Y. And then I have R and F as up and down. R goes up, F goes down. The next is the translate mode. And translate means that you're actually moving. So translate forward looks like that. Translate back looks like this. Translate left, translate right. Uh, I have those set as WASD. And then for the look modes, I have it set as 8, 4, 2, and 6. So 8 looks up, 2 looks down. And I believe the wordage, the verbiage, is um, slew pitch up, slew pitch down, uh, slew yaw left, slew yaw right. And then 5 resets the slew mode. And then if you do want to get some roll in there, I have seven set as left and right set, uh, I'm sorry, nine set as roll right. And then we hit that five button and it goes right back. Now one thing to note, um, sometimes if you're in flight and you go into slew mode, it'll automatically be moving. So I'm not touching any, button, any buttons and it's doing this you can also do a freeze mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit freeze and there it is there. Uh, so select those buttons however you want. I have zero left, zero down and zero right uh, set as those freeze modes. And as long as you hit every single one of those then it'll be frozen and you can make those slight adjust adjustments as needed. 
But yeah, that's everything that there is as far as the slew goes. Translate is actually moving, and then the pitch, yaw, and roll are the ones where you're actually kind of looking and stuck in one particular position. And then once you are set wherever you are, make sure you have the throttle on and press Y. And it can be a little bit dramatic as soon as you come in, but there you are, all set. There is one last thing that I would like to say, and that is in the controls panel, some of the verbiage is pretty misleading. I think that they switched it up on accident or or something like that, because it really doesn't make sense to me. For instance, slew translate right, uh, you would think I would set it as D, but I have to set it as A because uh, it's inverted. When I hit D, we actually move to the left, uh, which you would think that would be moving to the right. And when I hit A, you would think I would move to the left, but we actually move to the right. So you may have to uh, set the buttons and go test it out in real life. A lot of them are inverted, so you'll have to change the two buttons to make sure that they actually do what you want it to do. And again, I will put the buttons that I have selected in the comments below, so you can just copy and paste those if you'd like to.